this up. So the point of this has to be topic is that one nation, one nation, good for nothing. In my opinion, what I have studied is it is good for everything. Means whatever I study is good for everything. The reason is that as one nation, one election, uh, like all the arguments I will say, first election mode. Like if elections are going every year, every month, in that case, the parties, the governments will be always in election mode. And if they are always in election mode, they will unable to give proper uh, acts, proper bills, because they will try to introduce those bills which are good for only some certain people. Okay, just for short benefits. So, this is the first thing that all the parties and all the governments will be in election mode. Second is policy paralysis, that all the policy will be get paralyzed. The reason is that I have already said, uh, the government which are coming with the policies, they will only see to sustain their five years or three years, not for the good thing. So the truth will be high and the lie will be, you know, the lie will get into deep hole. And after some time, that hole cannot be put, that hole cannot be filled up. So policies get be, will be paralyzed. And the third point is short term, uh, yeah, short term. Like one, that the same thing that the government will still introduce all the bills in short term basis. And the fourth is staff. Staff is the reason because um, in election commission around 9 to 10 lakh polling booths are held in which only 1 crore staffs are there. In 1 crore also, some are officers whose work is very less just for 2 to, two, two to 3 days and then go, they, they go to home. And the others are like the security forces, police services and other staffs of election commission. So, security forces and police services, they have to prepare for the selection commission before the election and after the election. So, due to this, so the normal functioning of the security forces of the police services will not be happening. For example, in uh, election duty, teachers are also called. So, it means that if teachers are also called, the teacher who is meant to uh, take classes in colleges or school, that will be not taken. So it will be disadvantage for student also. So this is one reason that government governance crisis will be there due to this. If elections are held repeatedly. Second is financial problem. I will say financial problem is not a big deal, but according to some data I will uh, come with you. Like financial. Uh, in 2014, according to election commission data. 3,870 crores was uh, uh, expensed in 2014 Lok Sabha election and uh, around 200 to sorry 2,000, 6,000 to 9,000 crore for state elections and also for uh, the council means the legislative council election municipalities and panchayats. So around 19,000 crores was uh, Expense in 2014 election. But election commission said that uh, if elections are held at a one time, that will cost only 4,500 crores, which is a very big difference from 19,000 and 4,500 crores, right? So, like right before, in India, 4,870 crores is not a big deal because India used to take uh, 1 lakh crore from GST every month. But then also some money is getting which that money can be uh, focused on education, research and development and then uh, health and sanitation. So, and one more data I would, I would like to say to you, S.Y. Kureshi, he is also Chief Election Commissioner. In 2019, he came with the data that uh, around 50,000 crore was spent in 2019 Lok Sabha election as well as four states. Arunachal uh, Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Sikkim and uh, Orissa. So, and uh, around 1 to 2 lakh crore was spent in state elections, means council uh, elections. So, 50 to 60,000 crores are expelled in 2019 election. Then, Chief Election Commissioner also said that 
is for the election can be held in one time uh, that will uh, reduce 1 to 2 lakh crore from candidates and parties expenditure. For example, like in Delhi, in Delhi basically there are 7 seats in Lok Sabha, 70 seats in uh, um, Legislative Assembly and uh, other seats for Legislative Councils. So, one MP means one seat of MP and then 10 MLAs and 40 Council Ministers. So, for all them, expenditure is needed. Right? So, their expenditure is very high. But if elections are held at a single time, it will reduce 1 to 2 lakh crore for candidate and party's expenditure. And others are like campaigning and election cost. That will be okay. But then also, and uh, candidates and parties' expenditure will be reduced to 1 to 2 lakh crore. And for state, means the government cost will be reduced to 25,000 to 30,000 crores. It is good? Yes. Because wealth is very important for any nation's development. So, second point is financial crisis. If you finance, if you finance uh, issue this particular election, one nation, one election is very important in this case. And third is very important, social fabric. Social fabric is that, that when government is trying to campaign every month, every year, they will come with the communalism, they will come with regionalism, they will come with language. These moral topics which ignites every human being to vote that particular candidate, right? So, this Karvahad, uh, this Karvahad will be maintained for every year. But if elections are held at a single time, this Karvahad will be less for some time. In 5 years, one, one time Karvahad and after that, one time Karvahad. So, the government will can continue their work very smoothly. And uh, yeah, this is what I just said. Yes. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm doing the other part. And I support good for nothing. One election, one election. I support good for nothing. Because, Toki, if you have good for nothing, you have to take a vote. And if you have to vote, you have to take a vote. Right? What they are so as I was saying, what they are doing, look, very part of the support of this. Rap they would do. What very part of the people in other than that. Or just a grand in Oge, Panjay Oge, Raja Oge, is something they are about. Like the Pisic Pajarme, other party of KB, Sasome, to get a second of the only. Or सदस्यों में जो अच्छे काम करते होंगे और जैसे हो गए कि बड़े पार्ट वो भी कि उनका मुद्दा हो गया कि राष्ट्रीय मुद्दा हो गया कि ये राज्य का मुद्दा हो गया कि ग्राम पंचायत का मुद्दा तो ऐसे हो गया वो हो गया तो यूँ आप समझ लो कि अगर लोग बोर्ड देने जा रहे अक्सर देखेंगे कि ज़्यादा लोग राज्य लोग अक्सर देखते हैं कि बड़े पार्टी आ कौन है तो ज्यादातर लोग बड़े पार्टी में देखेंगे जिससे कि राज्य पर बहुत घटना हो सकती है मतलब प्रभाव बहुत हो सकती है कि असर कर सकता है राज्य पर जैसे आप देख लो कि लोग बड़े पार्टी को बोल देंगे उससे होगा कि राज्य पर असर पड़ेगी क्या पड़ेगी कि बड़े पार्टी होंगे किसी ऑपोजिशन ऑपोजिशन पार्टी होंगे बड़े पार्टी जो जीत गए और इधर सरकारी राज्य के भी होंगे जो उसके ऑपोजिट थे पार्टियां उसमें का सदस्य राज्य के भी अच्छे हो जो अच्छे काम करते हैं तो इस हिसाब से इससे देखें तो Uh, the, main, the main reason is that uh, it 
Try to speak louder. Will 
bit more motivated and have more incentive to go out and work for their particular part. The next reason of mine is that I think this will make uh, India truly democratic. If most of the people are not participating in the election, then how can we say that we are in the country democratically? If most of the population of the country yes, it does not like uh, the party that is in place right now, how can we say that that party has been chosen by the people that that party is working towards the betterment of our country? That's pretty Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Ashita. I have disagreed with this topic because I have supported. My friend has told first of all that uh, we have the election because one time election will cause more financial problems. I will decline that because if they are doing a financial to rent him sometimes in a year, elections are heavy. The work and the that so we will go for it and the elections will head in the years and three years time period is there for another election and five years of a bad election. So if one party will do my friend has told it will be democratic but I will decline that it will become it will become a dictatorship. If one party is ruling a five year, the other will not have any power, look Sahara, the Sahara will be crash. Because you are having the power and you can change anything if you want to. Okay? And then if we have a party like MLA, Chief Minister, Homeless, they will do everything. And if people are like us, or if we have any problem, first we go to MLA. A major problem. If they will lose their power, they will lose their uh, financial, they bought something, they give us, they will lose it. Definitely they will lose it. Then we are not going to appeal. We don't have any place to appeal. If we are appealing to MLAs or MPs and they are going to lose their power in the voting of a leader, a leader formed when the MLAs give a rights. I mean, they see chief minister the costing. They will lose their power. They, have to, uh, they don't have the power to elect one of them. So I agree to this topic, and uh, my friend said the bill has been declined from the Lok Sabha, and it is correctly because we can't do this at a one time in a year, and it will become a political manipulation. They will manipulate the caste up and everything. So I support this topic, one nation, one election. Good for me. Good morning, Sajana. Uh, the topic, one nation, one election, I was good not good for nothing. I totally agree with this topic that uh, one nation, one election is good for nothing. Let us take an example of the school. Uh, we, are, we have around six classes. Okay? We have a principal. We have teachers for every each and every classes. Teachers are monitoring every classes with a total sincerity. And uh, let us assume that there is no teacher for all the six classes. We have only a principal. Let us assume this uh, scene uh, where we have only a principal with six classes, and every class has a strength of 40 boys and girls students. 40 students. Okay. Now uh, what? Every student has a teacher problem. He have to consult to uh, consult to uh, to his principal. So, is it possible that the principal would be able to deal with 120, 160 students? Is it possible for a principal to deal with the 120 students at a time? It is no, not possible.